Hello everyone, so yesterday I shown you this uh, painting set and one of my viewers, Mr. Fiscus9, asked me if I can uh, make a little tutorial using this set. Uh, so of course I can. Uh, but first let's say a few words about this uh, painting set. So it contains uh, six uh, paints in this box. Uh, we have the basic paint uh, with this uh, square here. This is our base color. Next we have our uh, first highlight with this circle. Second highlight. Third highlight. First shadow. And the second shadow. And that is our uh, whole set of paints. And using only those six uh, colors we can uh, achieve uh, through metal metallic effect. Also the box comes with this uh, painting guide. Here we have a little <laughs> a tutorial or step by step painting uh, process uh, letting us uh, achieve this uh, great non-metal metallic effect. So yeah, that's about this set. Uh, so let's uh, get on to the painting. So uh, we will be painting this uh, Skitari model and uh, we will paint his uh, shoulder parts. And what we want to achieve is non-metal metallic look with uh, the brightest point will be the uh, the, 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 the middle part of this shoulder part and to make the painting easier I will remove this arm and we'll, we will be painting it separately okay so let's start painting so first we are going to use our base color I use um, gray primer so it won't be so uh, visible. So the paint is a little bit too thin. So let's add more paint. And yes, I'm painting the base color on the whole element. And it's as always better to use few uh, thin layers and white one thick and when our base coat is ready we are uh, ready to use the first highlight and according to the um, instruction we have to mix it with a little bit of base color so let's make this mix and okay now I'm painting only the uh, middle part of the shoulder pad leaving some of the base color in the recesses and in the uh, parts on the so yeah, I painted only the middle part. As always, we have to paint few layers of paint, and it is uh, good to wait until uh, one layer is completely dry before uh, applying another and uh, each layer I'm adding more and more of first highlight color to our mixture and I'm focusing on the uh, middle part leaving some previous color behind and 
every mistakes we can uh, fix with uh, our previous color or with our uh, previous mix or our base color as you can see uh, we achieve some kind of gradient so using almost pure first highlight time painting the next layer of paint mainly on the uh, middle part of this shoulder pad the more uh, layers you will paint the smoother transition will be so if you want to get uh, good results you have to take your time but it is worthy, especially when you are painting some special characters and you want them to look good on your battlefield. So yeah, once it dry, we will be using the next highlight. Okay, so it is dry, so we can use the another highlight. It's uh, some kind of uh, bright uh, blue-gray paint. We can mix it with the previous color a little bit and once again we are painting the middle part of previously painted area. almost pure uh, second highlight we will paint only the uh, thin stripe in the middle of our part to create a better contrast okay and if you want to uh, smoother this a little bit you can use previous color and just uh, paint few few layers to smooth smooth it up I really enjoy uh, using this uh, Andrea non metal metallic paint set it is uh, really easy because you have all the colors you need in the one place you don't have to think about uh, what colors you, need, you have to use next and you don't have to uh, searching uh, for the right color on your own it's uh, really easy when uh, you have to paint whole army or a big, uh, big amount of uh, miniatures okay let's uh, wait until it's dry and we will paint another layer of this second highlight because we want uh, the contrast to be uh, stronger okay so <coughs> it is uh, it is dry so let's paint one more layer of this uh, second highlight time to move forward to our third highlight uh, it is almost white paint or uh, maybe when it is simply white white <clears throat> so let's as always mix it with our previous color this will be our next layer of paint this very light grey paint so we will paint only the thin stripe on this previous color ok something like that 
and even uh, thinner stripe with pure white. Okay, something like this. Also using pure white we will be doing edge highlighting. And after it is done we are ready to uh, move and move on and uh, paint our first shadow. So first shadow is uh, some kind of uh, dark violet and according to the instruction that you uh, will get with this set you have to mix it with some of the base color. So this is our first sh sh shadow. shadow. can paint the outline here to create the illusion of uh, third dimension here or something like this okay so it looks like this so far now we are using pure second shadow shadow and we'll paint the bottom area of this part and now we are ready to use our uh, fat sh shadow and it's uh, the black paint <laughs> so first as always we mix it with our previous uh, color and using it just in the darkest spots not too much just here in the corner so it's about it of course we can uh, smooth it a little bit uh, using our uh, brighter, brighter, brighter colors but it is all up to you and you have to take it to the place where you're happy with your uh, effects mm -hmm. so now it is good to paint some outlines some uh, sorry uh, edge highlights using pure white to create contrast and illusion of uh, metallic uh, surface I really like these Andra paints they have a lot of pigments you don't have to shake them because they do not uh, separate yeah, I think it's uh, our part is ready. So now I will attach uh, attach this uh, shoulder to the whole figure, and I will show you the final result. So here we have the final result. As you can see here are the shoulder pads and the knee pad and chest. Uh, it's all painted with this uh, the same. Uh, set and same technique technique so yeah, I hope you like this little tutorial if so please share it with your friends uh, don't forget to uh, hit the like button and as always see you in the next video cheers guys